On the topic, I guess, of, you know, traveling overseas, uh, I think last year you were at a club in LA where 50 Cent was hosting. Oh my God, I got myself into so much trouble. So <gasps> oh. tell us a little bit about that because to my understanding, oh you were my there gosh. <laughs> and the game rolled through. Yeah, so basically like there was no like, Nothing bad intentional on my part, but apparently, like, I annoyed some people with... It was on Snapchat, right? Like, yeah, I've got an all right following on Snapchat, but I don't have, like, 10,000 people viewing my snaps. So I honestly thought nothing of it. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to post anything publicly, like, on Facebook or Instagram, whatever. It's just on Snapchat. No big deal. Like, only the people that follow me will see that. Some asshole downloaded, like... You know, I don't know. They've obviously got apps and shit to do this. Downloaded my whole Snap story from that day. Like my whole Snap story, like to the point where we were at home um, back at our Airbnb and me and my girlfriend are like eating and talking shit. Like my girlfriend's making me a bagel. Like the whole thing got uploaded to YouTube. So anyway, long story short, what happened? Like I was cool with game. Would like to think I still am, I hope. But um because I've DJed for him obviously here a few times and 50 Cent was hosting, game showed up, which I thought was interesting in itself because you knew he was hosting, but he showed up. So obviously that's his home turf. Like we're in LA here. So, you know, 50 Cent's from New York. Um, So yeah, game shows up and we were in this booth that just so happened to be like the best booth in the whole thing because the game was in the booth next to us and 50 Cent was in the booth behind us. I was like, ooh, how's this going to go down? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, basically the game got on stage and, like, did this whole, like, the beef between me and 50 is fucking however long, like, old and um, I don't fuck with that anymore. Like, we're cool. I'm cool with him, blah, 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 blah. 50 Cent kind of didn't react. Like, he was just doing his thing. Um, so, yeah, I said that. It pretty much exactly what I just said then I said on my snap, but some people weren't happy with that because obviously it could have made game look a certain way because yeah, like, which is not what I meant and not like, I think that what he did was dope because it's like, yeah, the beef is old. Like who gives a fuck? Do you know what I mean? Like, and what was it even over? Like, I don't know what it was over. Like the, there's been a few things mentioned, but I don't go that deep into it. So I was just like, okay, cool. Like that was dope of him to get up and do that. But Maybe the way I said it in um, the state that I was in was not delivered the best. So, yeah. And so what actually transpired? Like, well, it was just like he got on stage. and So said, he got on stage and look, I had a few drinks at this point, so I can't say for sure. But what had happened was from what I saw, so I didn't hear the words that were said, but from what I saw, it looked like, game had tried to go into 50s section and that he had said no. That was like I had gone to the bathroom and I came back and as I came back, they had stopped me and they were like, no, 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 you can't go into your booth. And I was like, why? And they're like, you can't go in because um, there's a fight just about to happen. And then at that point when I looked over, um, the, the game was like, standing in front of 50s booth. So whether he'd already been in or not at that point, I didn't know because I'd been away in the bathroom. And then the next day I saw photos that they had like sort of exchanged some sort of a hug or a handshake or something. Anyway, that YouTube video, oh my gosh. I don't know. Did you see the video? No, no. So what is it that you actually filmed and then how is it that it got you in it's trouble? Because, because what I said was like I was drunk at the time when I was talking, obviously. So, you know, you say things a little different to when you're sober. And what had happened is I was like, oh my God. Like I was telling everyone live what had happened. So I was like, had posted on my Insta. This is where I think I fucked up. I posted up on my Instagram a picture of the game saying the game and 50 cent. Like it wasn't a picture of him that I'd taken. It was just like a picture off the internet of the game and said, if you're a fan of 50 cent of the game, watch my Snapchats now. So all I was doing is doing like a live play by play. Right. So to my followers also what I thought. So what I was saying is, um, oh my God, like, you know, the game's on stage. Then like when he had moved on and tried to get into his booth and I couldn't get in, I was like, oh my God, like apparently there's a fight. They're not letting us into our booth. And then um, I said something like, 
They're not letting 50 cent, uh, the game into 50 cent section, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so obviously something of that was wrong because he had got, gone into his section, whether that was before or after, I don't know. But when my like video got posted on YouTube, people that I knew like from their camp had seen it and got really annoyed and were like, what do you mean? Like, you know, why would you say that? And blah, 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 blah. And then the comments on the, oh, I don't want to even say it because this is going to make people go and watch it now, but the comments on that video are like so disgusting. Like, so like people who don't even know me, like that fucking bitch is lying. Like she's so full of shit. She probably wasn't even there. Some guys like I smashed her in the toilet. I'm like, what the hell? Like, where is this coming from? Like, wow. yeah. So got a bit out of hand. So my lesson to you people is don't ever post anything on any form of social media if you're not 100% sure about it. Because even if you think it's not going to get out, it will get out. So, yeah, whoever that asshole was who um went and downloaded my Snapchat, thanks for that. <laughs> and then so... Thanks. So after, you know, all said and done, mm. it didn't really cause you any sort of like, well, relationship look, issues with certain cats? Or? I haven't seen the game since. Would I be quick to go hang out at his next Aussie tour? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Which is a shame because, like, we were cool. I hope we still are, but <laughs> am I willing to test those waters? Probably not yet, no. <laughs> and so how is it that you have had prior relationships with the game and his people? Um, because I have DJed for him. So the it was one of my first concerts, actually. Like, I think it was my third concert ever that I DJed at. So what happened was I DJed at a Casey and JoJo show, um, and, like, the promoters who were doing that were, like, these Sydney-based guys, and I saw that, like, I didn't, to be honest, like, I wasn't even really excited about the Casey and Jojo show because at that point was like when their live shows were not very good. They weren't very stable and, you know, things were a bit messy. So I was like, mm, look, I'm getting paid. I'll do it. And then I saw that these same promoters were doing the game in Feb. So this was in December and that was going to be in Feb. This was like in 2010. And yeah, so Casey and Jojo was like my first ever concert. And then when I saw that those promoters were doing it, I started selling the shit out of those tickets because I was like, if I can prove to these guys that I can, like, sell all these tickets and, like, do a really good job, then maybe they'll book me for game because, like, he was my favourite living rapper at the time. And, um, yeah, then they ended up, like, a lot of negotiations happened. <laughs> and then they ended up finally saying yes. It was like, I think the negotiation was cancel your invoice for Casey and JoJo we're not paying you for the game and take us out to dinner. And I was like, all right, invoice cancelled, game, we'll do it for free and I'll buy you Maccas for dinner. <laughs> and then, yeah, they ended up booking me for the game um, show and I was just like over the moon because that was like what I really wanted. So, yeah, I DJed for him. He was like super nice, super humble, like, um, yeah, ended up like I, got, I had his documentary album, got him to sign it for me. And then when he signed it, he opened it up and he put his number in and he goes, if you ever need game and gave it to me. And I was like, I didn't know what he meant because I didn't see that he wrote his number. I thought he was just doing a signature. And then when I opened it up, I saw it and I was like, because at that time I had never really had many celebrity interactions or anything. So I was like, is he playing me? Is this really his number? Or is this a fake number? Like if I text it, is it going to be like one of his friends and I'm going to be really embarrassed? Um, so yeah, I ended up texting him the next day and it was him. And, um, so yeah, then when I went to LA a couple years after that, I ended up seeing him hanging out. He went, like he invited us out, me and my girlfriend out to a club that he was hosting at. It's like super cool, like hung out with him, had a great night. And, um, yeah, then I DJed, did I DJ for him again? Possibly. I can't remember. I think I DJed for another show of his after that. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so that's how I knew him. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's all I know. Cool. And I had seen him that night, like, before all that happened, like, I had seen him and said hi and everything was, like, all cool. So I fucked up. I didn't mean to. Like, I love the game. Like, I got a lot of love for him music-wise. Like, as a person, like, he was cool. Like, so that wasn't any, like, obviously any hate on purpose. No, far from it. I love 50. I love the game. Like, but I was always West Coast, like. So if I had to choose a side, I'm sorry, but I'm always going to be West Coast. <laughs> 
the, the, the lesson. Yeah.